We're here. It's at this shrine. No, I'm totally paying attention. I'm not totally just going. looking at the internet. Hey, Omaru, do you have a second? Huh? I yeah. Are you really sure this is okay? To end it like this? Running away? You're asking this now? All this time I've been trying to escape. You know, you're right. And not just that. I'm still worried about my dad and mom. What are you gonna do, Toko? Are you really gonna stay here? Nah, nah, she's just gonna give up on Byakuya. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Byakh! Of course, I have to save Master Byakuya. Right. Hey, what do you think, honestly? Is it better for me to... Oops, my bad. Why are you asking me? It's, it's like, oh man, I, I accidentally tooted and then hit the button. I mean, if I go, you'll be alone. Yeah, but if you go, the game ends, and then we get to see credits and probably some J-Rock song. Like, I was waiting for it. Toko, do you want me to stay? You have no reason to worry about me. I'm capable of surviving on my own. Yeah, you're right. When I'm around, I'm just a burden to you. Yeah, pretty much. Unlike me, you're truly in- Okay, I don't care! Hey, Omaru? Hmm? Sorry for getting you involved in all Thank this. you, okay, I care about that. Good. Good on you. Involved? What do you mean? N nothing. Just leave before he changes his mind. This way. All right. Where's the payoff? This is it. Stairs? This is the secret passageway we prepared in case of emergency. Go through here. And you can get outside the town. All right. All right, bye. What are you doing? Hurry up and leave. How do you do stairs like that also? Hold hey, on. What's the hold up? If you just go through here, you'll be outside of the city. All right, look at that. The way those stairs are positioned, there's no way you can get down there. It's, it's stairs with a square shaft. Even children would have to crawl. So dumb. Didn't you want to run away? Didn't you want to escape this town? Even a slide would have been better. Th that's right. That's what I've always wanted. Then I do it. That's... Toko, is it really okay for me to go? D do whatever you want. It has nothing to do with me. Not anymore. Oh my. Seems like I need... No! Was close. Truly a last minute save. You 
Why are you here? Why am I here? To persuade her to stay, of course. I want to leave! I want to leave! So that our boring and common protagonist who has no distinct characteristics doesn't just quit. Huh? Komaru Naeki, though you are normal, not an ultimate, or even a part of Future Foundation, I really do think quite poorly of the idea that you would abandon your friend and run off alone. Are you really going to just run away like this? Is your conscience clear? It really sucks that he can't just die. Stop it! What are you saying? She's about to leave for good! That would be quite bothersome for me, you know? That is why I must convince her to What stay. do you mean bother? You have no reason! Huh? It would be disappointing if she did not see the game through to the end. How it was meant to be. D don't just go speaking your mind without permission! You're a servant! Listen to me. In order to see our paradise, this girl cannot stay here. So then I must ask, which is more important to the Warriors of Hope? Paradise or the game? But what are you talking about? It's obviously... The game, of course. Shut up! You're a smart one. You must be at least vaguely aware. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sneaking about. You could have openly proposed a halt to these slaves to focus entirely on building paradise. And the reason you did not do exactly that and are instead going behind their backs is because you realize your favorite Miss Mage would choose the game over paradise. Do you know what you call someone who behaves like you're behaving? Normal? A traitor. You're wrong. I care about them more than anyone. They all have high hopes for me. How are you getting humiliated by a dude with marker all over his face? I mean, I am the leader. I had a little spittle when I yelled that. Sorry. Nagisa. Isn't it best if you just calm down a little? You can leave the rest to me. Don't leave anything to him! Ugh. This is a this is a prequel, so I know he doesn't die. Okay. Good. He technically might not even be dead to begin with. Damn it! That's right. People who are not needed in this scene should go and make their exit. Alright, we're gonna go leave now. Bye! What are you talking about? I must admit, I am a little disappointed. When I heard that she was his little sister, I was intrigued. His? Makoto? Do you know him? Now listen, since I've planned the game out Oh my way, god! I'd like it to be completed. Answer the question! Of course, perhaps I am being somewhat unfair to you. Girl. Maybe! Rather, the one who disappointed me is Toko. Huh? <sighs> now perhaps I am mistaken. But I believe we made a promise. You were to escort her to headquarters. Damn! Twist! This es escort? What are you talking about? Ah, ah, hostage exchange? Oh, I really think it should be Toko who answers that question. But if you continue to be silent, the story cannot progress. So I will speak. I made a deal with Toko. If she escorts you to the children's main base, I will release Byakuya Togami. Consider it exchanging hostages. The plan was to trade you and Byakuya. Someone in the comments, what the fuck's written up below his left eye? His right eye, but the one on the left. Does that just say Baka? Does that say garbage? Did they label him what he is? What? What are you talking about? And it was such a good deal, too. Why did it have to come to this? Well, at the very least, she doesn't have to... She doesn't have to be mad at Toko, because she just told Kamaru to go. She went back on it. That's a lie, right? You're lying right now, aren't you? You're just making it up. 
then Toka can say, yeah, it's a lie. Eat shit. If you believe it to be a lie, think back on when you two first met. Oh, is this one of those bait and switches from the beginning? When you first arrived at the hospital on your parachute, did you know why Toko turned up there? She just video game convenience. Because she was told where he would be landing. How else could you possibly explain such a contrived encounter? The reason Toko has been your companion through all this was because of her deal with me. Lies! You're lying! I went through considerable trouble making sure you would complete this little game. Returning the hacking gun you had lost, having the Monokuma kids deliver items, that was me. Consider it game balance, as they say. You've thought about it before, I'm sure. Uh, ah! Why enemies conveniently drop items? Why the path you must travel on to advance is always clear. I hate his importance! The game began as a way for the children to have fun, but it was also a game to help you grow. For what? And I am the one who made it that way. Why me? Hmm? You mean, why was I so particular about choosing you? Well, that is all your brother's fault, of course. Kodo? He defeated Junko and Oshima, the one I truly hate. And I wasn't there to witness it. Oh my god. That's why, this time around, I wanted to see the action up close. You're mad that you didn't get to see something? And not only that, unlike him, an ultimate, you are a normal girl who can't do anything. That was particularly compelling. Her brother, a hero, the symbol of hope. The little sister, utterly boring by comparison. If someone like you were to stand against despair, that would bring hope to the people. Hope is exclusively found on the side of the weak. Wait, the what the fuck? Side. Avril Lavigne? People are touched by underdog stories. Slaying Goliath. The weaker team winning a game. The majority of society is made up of the weak and untalented. Uh, inspired by I don't need monologues from you! I'm beaten! Oh. What are you saying? If my assumptions are correct, you will release a light even brighter than his. I'm gonna bomb it. And in order for that to happen, I need you to participate in my game. Blech. Through the game, you will grow. Defeat the final boss and become the hope of this Okay, that one was real. Fuck, I gotta stop that. That's why it would be quite disappointing if you give up halfway through. Please, save ah! this town from despair. Show me your dazzling light of hope to crush despair. Wh what do you mean? I'm hope? I, I don't understand what you mean at all. Ah, I see. So you still don't understand. I blame myself. I should have been more enthusiastic. Dude, your eyes went into that stupid mode. I think you were good. But regardless, I truly do believe in you. No yeah. matter how big the despair, hope will always win in the end. That is why I feel no remorse becoming despair myself. Those kids, you must be insane. You don't know the fucking half of it. Who cares about me? The more important thing is what you two are going to do. Now. <laughs> I mean, now that Toko's lie has been uncovered. Uh, well, what's gonna happen is Kamaru can just go down those stairs. No bracelet, no reason to fucking stay here. Toko, please just. Tell what, me the truth. what part of this re revelation? 
is going to force her to want to stay over... What's going to stop her from leaving? What are you saying? It's a lie, right? That I'm going to be traded for Biakia, and you've been lying this whole time. That's, that's got to be a lie, right? Me, Toko. <laughs> Who would actually want to save someone like you? Of course, it's not a lie. What? Toko, real talk. Do you have any fucking tact? All this time, I was protecting you and cheering you up. Yeah. It was all for the sake of Master Biakia. Toko. That's right. I was deceiving you, and you just kept relying on me. Toko! Toko! Oh, trusting me like an idiot. It's your fault. Yeah, she's a terrible character. <laughs> I, it's your fault. I believed in you. Well, you shouldn't have done that. All right, sure. Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. Why would you believe in me? I have a split personality with a serial killer. I'm abnormal. All my life, nobody even tried to trust me. It's always been like that. That's why I've never had a problem lying to people. But regardless, why do you believe in someone like me? Toko... From the very start, I hated you. Just being with you was insufferable. Lies. It's all lies. I'm not lying. It's the truth. I tricked you from the start. You were a fool never to realize it. You're just a stupid idiot who got set up by the coward Toko Fukawa. Simple as that. Okay, I'm leaving now. Hope, hope, despair, despair, bye. bye. Don't you think that maybe your ranting isn't helping? Get out! If you put it like that, she will be even more motivated to leave you behind, will she not? If you want to stop her, you've got to try harder. Byakuya is important to you, right? I guess there's no other way. By force if I have to. Force? Yeah, throw her in the hole. You fucking kid. All right, fine. I won't let you escape, Kamari It would be troublesome if you did not play your role. I just saw her underwear. My hacking gun should be able to. The hell? Okay, so she only gets fucked whenever she's up there. This is very awkward. Fine. If we block her from being able to do that over and over again, we'll win.
They actually want me to hit the fucking taser. God damn. Okay, now I'm just straight taking health damage. This is kind of hard, though. You'll never be able to leave this town. Huh. That's strange. Even with the hacking gun, Komaru should be easily outmatched by Toko. This is still way too hard, though. Because there's not really... There is no dodge maneuvers in the game. So that is not really good design at all. Like, this is a cool fight, but it's terrible game design. Because there's no way to dodge! There's no roll in the game. You run. And she auto-tracks with her attack. With her, like, spin attack. So it's pretty much, you have to know what to do on the first try. So, let's do it again. Yes! It works on the stun gun! If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town. See? Now what are you gonna do? Like, now I know exactly what I need to do, and I'm probably gonna get it pretty easily, because... If you don't defeat me, you'll never oh, be able lucky. to leave this town. Oh, can I just cheese the fight with that? Probably. To survive. Just... You have to sacrifice! Something. If we go, like, right here, she can't, like, pass through it. She has to go around it. So dumb. If you don't defeat me... Huh. That's strange. Even with the hacking gun, Komaru should be easily outmatched by Teko. How did you... Guess I'm a masker. If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town. Hey! All right, sure. Ah, uh, she lost consciousness. Good, we can leave now. Then, now we can leave. Game over. Game over. She has no pupils. Toko. Oh, I lost consciousness. That means I must have lost. If that's the case, I can't stop you now. Hurry up and run. What are you doing? If you don't hurry, next time I really will take you by force. You did it on purpose, didn't you? you yes. On purpose. I guess. You can't really lose on purpose, though. Huh? It would make no sense because she can't fucking plan anything with her other personality. You lost on purpose so you can let me go. Saying cruel things. She has no control of the other side. Happening. It was an act, wasn't it? She. It wasn't an act so that she changed. She had to hope that you you What are you talking about? Why would you think that? Like it would make no sense. Don't treat me like an idiot. I already know you're much stronger than I am. Yeah. It it still doesn't make We've sense. We've been together all this time. She doesn't even have any like she doesn't know what happens. It's also impossible for her to relay information to the other one. And until this point, she didn't like you. She would have no reason to to help you. Literally none. Why? If things stayed the same, you never would have made a move, would you? You always made me decide. You didn't do anything on your own. So you wanted to give me a chance? I was with you all this time, you know? I... 
I know you well too. And also, listening to this crazy idiot's orders just makes my skin crawl. Hope. <laughs> Sounds disgusting when you say it. Well, that is completely understandable. But are you really okay with this? If Miss Komaru runs away, the safety of the hostage cannot be guaranteed. Why is this it's anime? For the sake of the game. Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? Mm -hmm. Then allow me to lend a hand. See, you'll still make it if you go now. Fuck you, Nagito. God damn it. Run into the hole! Oh, yeah! Yes! Woo! Lanky, wavy haired bastard! Ha! Oh, right. Even though you two share knowledge, you don't share memories, correct? So then, you have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I see. Idiot! It's no mistake. What I share with her isn't just knowledge. She and I also share emotions. If we didn't, there's no way we'd both love Master. Oh. And my emotions are telling me this. To kill you and let Gekomaru escape. And you're something of a pretty boy yourself, so I can kill you as I like. So we ah, I see. So you've decided to stop taking I'm advantage so of me. I'm so happy right life. now. Is that friendship? Huh? To travel the harsher path for the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. But aren't you a serial killer? You're an aberrant who has no problem taking lives to satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends, do you not find it strange? Or even shameful? Why? 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 I won't. I mean, you made a promise with Byakuya, right? You said you won't kill anyone anymore. If you keep your promise, you can be an official member of Future Foundation. That's why you... You just can't. I never thought of... Of you or Toko. As abnormal, not even one bit. You're just a little strange. Tomorrow, how right. could you do this? But even so, you are important to me. You and I are friends now, no matter what happens. You're a precious friend and I won't let you do this! You know... <laughs> you're probably wasting your time. I mean, after all... She knows she needs to kill me. Byakuya's life is in danger as long as I am alive. If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape... <laughs> stay if that's how it is if i stay in the city and go with her then it's fine right that's right. hey 
I don't know what the hell you're talking about! You were crying and whining about his speaking earlier, remember? Now what? You change your mind? I still want to escape! I'm still scared! Even now, but you feel the same way, don't you? You were scared too, but you tried to help me escape. And hid how afraid you really were inside, didn't you? There's no way I can run now, leaving you behind! As expected. You just don't get it. I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? No, no you didn't. And you're suffering from guilt, aren't you? If you're hurting, you can tell me. I'm an unreliable, normal girl who can't do anything. But... I can at least do normal things, right? And it's can you normal get the scissors out of my neck now? To help a friend. I'll stay. No matter how much you say no, I will definitely stay with you, all right? Hooray! Man, so annoying. All that lip service talk that I hate, so damn irritating. Anybody can just say something. In that case, I'm a great detective, an astronaut, a reporter, and a Terra super beauty. <sighs> and besides, you have absolutely no idea what I'm really like. What do you mean? This is a long ass anime cutscene. There's no way I'd say no. Huh? Rather. Hey. So, um, about what just happened? It, it's all right. I kind of figured out what was happening. Huh? Really? Friend? <laughs> the last time I was called that was in a dream I had in grade school. That's pretty <laughs> You're actually one of many friends that I have, so you don't have to take it that seriously. You bring that up now? Let me have this moment. Hey guys, I'm kind of bleeding out over here. Guess it turned out so all right. not funny. I hate that because he still wins! Fuck! If Komaru Nagi had run away, the hope of this city would have Ah oh, damn it! To prevent that. A wound like this will not diminish my resolve. Yeah, well, good luck walking. Oh, it does hurt. Okay, thank you. It's time you started talking. How do we release Master Byakuya? All you have to do is defeat the final boss. You save the princess after defeating the final boss, right? In theory. In theory? I was not the only one who came up with the plan to take you to the children's base. I have a partner, but I'm not sure what they are planning, to be honest. Who is that? There's no way I would tell you that. I have already been disqualified from the game. Oh, good. Okay, good. He's out. But it'll be all right. No matter what kind of despair awaits you. Hope will overcome it. I'm trying to think. If it's not a character already established, I'll just assume it's uh, Hajime. The deeper and darker the despair, the brighter. Because he's super more evil at this point, the right? Born from it. Then again, I don't know what the fuck Nagito's allegiances are in these games yeah, anymore. You're crazy, all right. Someone tried to say, "Yo, can't wait for Dang and Rampa V3 to have Nagito in," and I'm like, "You motherfuckers need to shut the fuck up." <laughs> You are seriously disgusting. You're like three steps below vomit in a toilet. Anyway, all you need to do <laughs> is progress forward. I will support you until the very end. How can you? You've been disqualified. So in order to get back Byakuya, we need to stop the children's rioting, right? Then... I'll do it. There's no other choice. Right, Toko? But... 
Are you sure you can do this? There's no way I can accept leaving you behind. Thanks to you, I've come this far. And not just that. Maybe I'm not really attached to this town, but I will save my friend. Kamaru. Oh, and one more thing. I have a little hint for you. The building the children are using as a headquarters is called Toa Hills. Marching in there with just the two of you would be a bit... suicidal. Monokumas have dug in all around Toa Hills. Even you two would have trouble with that many. Then what do we need to do? Well, we could ask for help. From Shirakuma and Haichi. Their help? They want to stop the children as much as we do. Shirakuma said it too. If we work together, everyone can be saved. And everyone's happy, right? What? Where did that come from? Now's not the time for heroics. But I think you and I can do it. It's going to be all right. Ah, such splendid growth. Your world has gradually grown wider. Can we leave? As expected of his little sister. My judgment was indeed correct. Ah, that reminds me. The resistance base is in the sewers underground, correct? In that case, there should be an entrance to the subway if you go through the business district. As I recall, there was a blue building. If you move through there, you'll reach the base. You're sending us on a pretty specific path. Is this also part of your scheme? I would prefer that you think of it as support. It is information that will help you. Well, it doesn't matter what you're scheming. Master and Kamaru, I'll protect them both. Even if it takes my life. Do your best. Defeat despair. That's it. Just a little longer. Just a little longer. And that light of hope will swallow the despair of this place. <laughs> I can't wait. Excuse me. <laughs> so upset over something like this. You really are a child.